A Chinese American mathematician Zheng Yitong is said that he has conquered the Landau Siegel zero point conjecture. This caused a shock in the mathematics community. We have introduced the Riemann conjecture and Zheng's work on the twin prime conjecture before. Today, I will briefly talk about the Landau Siegel conjecture. The Landau Siegel conjecture is closely related to the Riemann conjecture. First, let's review the Riemann conjecture, which starts from the series studied by Euler. A prime number is a natural number greater than one that is divisible only by one and itself. Are there infinitely many prime numbers? How is the distribution? The problem is simple but difficult, and the charm is endless. Euclid proved that there are infinitely many prime numbers. Euler's study of infinite sequence some 2000 years later. This series is a function of s, later known as the zeta function. s greater than 1, the series converges, s equals 1, it does not converge. Euler connected series with primes and came to a surprising conclusion. The sum of the reciprocals of all prime numbers diverges like a harmonic series, which indirectly proves that there are infinitely many prime numbers. Because the sum of a finite sequence cannot be diverge. This relationship is extended to Euler's product theorem. Gauss, born 70 years later than Euler, also studied prime numbers. Riemann is a student of Gauss, very smart, but unfortunately died at the age of 39. Riemann's extended the Zeta series to almost the entire complex plane. The extended function is called the Riemann Zeta function. The law of appearance of prime numbers is closely related to the zero point distribution of the Riemann Zeta function. Zeros of the zeta function at s equals 2, 4, are trivial zeros. The distribution of prime numbers is related to non-trivial zeros. Where are the non-trivial zeros? This leads to the Riemann conjecture. All non-trivial zeros lie on a vertical line with real part equal to half. With the help of computers, more than 20 billion non-trivial zeros have been verified. All zeros, real parts are all 0 0.5, without exception. There are Riemann hypothesis and generalized Riemann hypothesis. Dirichlet-L function is another function earlier than Riemann zeta function. Dirichlet is 20 years older than Riemann, between Riemann and Gauss. Not necessary to use only natural numbers to pick out prime numbers. Because any prime numbers greater than 2 are odd. So, just prove that in odd columns 1 plus 2k, k equals 1, 2, 3, there are infinitely many prime numbers. Dirichlet studies this kind of problem, study the number and distribution of prime numbers in various arithmetic progressions. He proved that there are infinitely many primes in all arithmetic sequence. Dirichlet is the founder of analytic number theory. The Dirichlet L function and Dirichlet character C was introduced in 1837. As with the Riemann zeta function, start by defining the series. Dirichlet characters are the key, a set of functions that satisfy conditions. 1. Periodic, 2. Multiplicative, 3. Generalization of zeta function. The L function and the zeta function correspond to each other, extension, zero point, conjecture. Landau, Siegel zero is counterexample to the generalized Riemann hypothesis. Landau, Siegel zero conjecture, no Siegel zeros. Neither the Riemann conjecture nor the generalized Riemann conjecture have been proven. But most mathematicians agree that conjectures are valid i.e. all non-trivial zeros lie on the line with real part equal to one-half. Siegel and his advisor Landau conduct in-depth research on the L function. It is found that the L function may have abnormal zeros in the special conditions. A positional anomaly means that such a zero is not located on the real part one-half line but is very close to one. This zero is called the Landau-Siegel zero. However, they also proved that there is at most only one such zero point. If Siegel's zero really exists, the generalized Riemann hypothesis is wrong. Several days ago, Yitong Zhang published his 111-page paper on AR-14. He also gave a talk in Chinese recently, he claimed that he essentially solved Landau Siegel's zero-point conjecture problem. In his paper, he proved two theorems. Theorem 1 give limit to L function. He proved theorem 1 first. As a direct consequence of theorem 1, he has theorem 2, which give the limit to distance of 0 and 1. Compare this with limit 4. Original Landau-Siegel zero-point conjecture. 
2024 versus 1. Etang Zhang got 2024 instead of 1. He said it can be make smaller than 2024. But cannot be 1 using his method. That is why he said essentially solved the problem. But this is good enough using it. To solve many other conjectures.